Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm here with my friend Chanel. Say hi. Hi. And we're gonna do some side questing up here in Ulgoth's Beard. We're way up at the northeast side of the Sword Coast. We'll, uh, do some quests that I don't like personally here. <laughs> They're a little tough. They're a little rough. Like this fucking asshole Chandelar. Halt! You are not worthy to walk here. We'll stand and listen. I am Chandelar, and this town is under my protection. Such as you must prove your intent well and true, and show that you are to be allowed the same rights to life as those more responsible. Um. Yeah, what business is of yours where I go? If I present a danger, then I am sure the local constabulary will deal with me as it sees fit, or try to at any rate. Regardless, why am I to be your concern? Because your business is unsavory, and I don't like it. Your actions have branded you, and I must determine if such a brand is accurate and deserved. Cows are branded, but there will not but there is not the will behind it. Likewise, perhaps you are of good intent, but are just inept. Thus is my quandary. You will do a task for me and prove your worth. Success means I may not kill you outright. Failure means I will have to deal with you again anyway. I seek a simple cloak of mine. You will retrieve it, and then you may return. Do not wear it, as it is mine, and you will not survive. This item, why don't you get it yourself? Because I'm busy. Because I have better things to do. Because it is menial, dangerous, tiresome, and a chore. You choose whichever reason makes you happy and full of cheer. You will do this regardless, and you will do so now. Here is a ward token that will return you once the chore is done, and you have the item. Do be quick about it. Jeez. Fucking Chandelar. We get no... Oh, he didn't get Vicky. Look. Oh. Better be here with us. Yeah, oh. she is. Okay. <laughs> okay, quick save. Fuck you. Oh my god. <gasps> Fuck no, you, Polar Bear. I hope it doesn't follow us in. Oh my gosh. Can it? I don't know. I have no idea. If it does, it's gonna fucking kill Edwin. <gasps> okay. And there's a fight coming up. It, this is just Wizard Island. Like, you just fight a bunch of wizards here. And yeah. they cast, like, chaos and shit. Oh no. And if you don't have uh, SCS installed, you don't get spells that help protect you from chaos in Baldur's Gate 1. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to hope it doesn't hit you. Um, I guess we could cast Silence. Do we have an invisibility pot? I'm just gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna try and be sneaky. <laughs> okay. Quick save, Vicky, pot this. Okay. Cast Silence. If I can silence them, then they won't be able to do anything. Yeah. Okay, quick save, and then we'll head out there. Well, 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 I sense the ripples, and there you are, but you are something new. Tell me, friend, how have you come to this place? Um. Against my will, and none too pleased about it. Who in the blazes are you? I'm Andrus, and you will lower your voice, or you'll find yourself swimming. Hmm. Perhaps you have come in the normal way after all. Most are not too happy about arriving here. No doubt you are confused, but I will explain. Here is the island. It has no other name than this, and it is too small to appear on any map. By the stars, I would place us deep in the trackless sea, perhaps even further afield than far southern Chult, though I cannot really say. You are just the last teleporting fool to be captured. This place seems to be a magnet of sorts. If you are powerful enough to transport without error across an ocean, you are apparently of sufficient power to be caught and dragged here. It is the very place that does it. it seems to ensnare the energy. Needless to say, leaving the island by magical means seems entirely impossible. You'll get used to seabird eggs if you wish to survive. And you've taken the role of the island greeter? I don't think so. What do you want? What do I want? What do I want? To be free of this place. It does not matter whether this place is a joke, a test, or an odd phenomenon. I need power to escape. If you'd kindly strip off your belongings, I'd be ever so grateful. If you want my equipment, you're gonna have to take it, bitch. Certainly. First you, then the others here. I need all the power I can get, and I don't mind taking it by force. Is that fool silenced? Well, who, who was silenced? 
Marcellus is silenced and just saved and Bryn saved, I think. Dang. So. Chronos. Try that. Edwin. Oh, fuck. I didn't rest. <gasps> um. Oh, no. Alright, I got wands for days. Edwin, use your ice wand if you would on this fucker. Gorn, get in there. Kay can get in there. Vicky. Do that. Shit. Teleported. Caden, get over here. Monty. Gosh. I'm so fucked. Look at that oh chaos no. coming at Kronos. No. Oh. <laughs> Everybody who's not chaos, fucking attack this fool. Kagan, can you not get in there? Vicky, can you get him? He's silenced. Just chop him to pieces like that. Okay. Let's just run and hide. Get away from... Okay. Well, we gotta get in there and get him now. Yeah. Uh, There's nothing I can do. Eesh. Edwin, I can't even take that fucking thing back off Edwin. Magic Missile won't affect them. Fuck. Do Mel's Minute Meteors. Okay. Oh. That's a Lightning Bolt with Fireball coming in. Jeez. Okay. He's dead. Uh oh. He charmed Kagan. <gasps> Get us away! Please, get us away. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I'm about to die. <laughs> oh no! Dorn! Get him! Uh, holy shit, this is going so bad. He's got <laughs> potions. Dorn, give one to Kronos. Kronos, drink that shit, my dude. Thank you. Everybody, where's Edwin? Edwin, use your frost wand on this fucker. Uh, Kronos, go back to your sling. And he's summoning a fucking monster. Please. Edder caps and a fucking ogre? <laughs> this is going great. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my good lord. Oh my gosh. Thorn, come down here please. Edwin, frost him. Oh my god, Kronos is dead. No. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Oh my gosh. Get this fucker. I like it here. Where's Dorn? Dorn died? <laughs> Fuck. Hate oh my this gosh. Part, dude. That was crazy. Fuckers. I don't want to talk. Cool. Quick save again. Is this cheating? Sure, but I don't fucking care. Hey, whatever works. Yo, you ain't getting <laughs> shit off, you stupid fucker. Yeah, fuck him up. Dumb bitch. There we go. Quick save. This fucker's still alive. Damn. But he's about to get fucked up. <laughs> Fucking oh, no. chaos, dude. 
Jeez. Okay, everybody who's not confused, get up here. Yeah, move away. Yeah, eat Melf's my new meteors, you fucking <laughs> bitch. Uh, acid arrow this man. Vicky, get him. Get him with another fucking acid arrow, Jesus Christ! Fear my wrath, for it is great indeed. You fucking fireballs, an acid arrow, three Melf's minute meteors. Oh. Bitch! <laughs> Fuck you! Hate this encounter so fucking much. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. There's no counter to chaos. There's nothing yeah. you can do about it. You're fucked. A potion of clarity will help. There's one in the game. Like. Fuck. Finally. Yeah, I hate this side quest. And then we're going to be <laughs> fighting a boss even later that can do a gaze attack that holds you and then turn, explodes you, permanently kills you, and turns you into a ghast. Jeez. And he can do it at will. Oh. Dorn potion. I think there's just one more encounter we gotta get through. And um got the ward token. Let's throw that up there. Nestor's dagger. We still have that child's body in Dorn's inventory. Oh no. Fuck you, Edwin. Alright, we're gonna go up here, quick save, and then rest. Okay. Oh. Lauren, you fucking bitch. <laughs> okay. All our spells are back. Yeah. Monty? Walk us ahead, my dude. Gotta be extra careful in these tiny ass fucking dungeons. A lot of traps. Yep. Because this six ticks of this clock at the bottom is one round or one turn. Oh, okay. I forget rounds and turns. I think it's a round, and a turn is ten rounds. I just forget where the traps are, and I hate the. Fucking... Let's just preemptive cast melts. <laughs> Edwin, you do it too. There's a guy we can, like, talk our way past up ahead of bit. Yeah. And then... Or we can kill him. Um... I don't know. I think you have to pick the, like, baby bitch option to get him to not attack you. And then he, like, comes to attack you at the end anyway. Because he wants off the oh. island. Then just kill him. Okay. We're bad anyways, right? Yep. Kronos yeah. is evil. Yeah, we'll just kill him. Lawful evil. I know there's a trap up here. <laughs> I fucking know there's one in this corner. Because I've seen Dave Orn die to it before. Where is it? There it is. Right there. How many fire wands do we have? You should be able to save our fire wands. Um, just quick save, everybody. Just come on. He he he! Ha ha ha! Been here long? <laughs> Out of my way, old man. I have a job to do and little desire to do it. While I have nothing to do and a vast intellect that starves for some enjoyment. On your hands and knees, child. Nope. Nope. Going down, old man. Sorry. And he should be down anytime now. Down he goes. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hagen and Montron leveled up. Nice. Hagen gets more hit points. Monty gets a proficiency. Sling. Short sword. Short bow. I think he's using a longbow right now. Yeah, he's using a longbow. Thacko of 7, dude. That's good. Yeah. Ours is 16. Okay. 
I always forget that the lower it is, the better. Yeah. Edwin, we up your melts. Okay, we just got one more guy to deal with. We could go clear this place fully, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> Yet. Come back ways. Kagan and Dorn. Don't trigger the last boss. Just come in here and kill these wolves. Dorn getting hit as usual. <laughs> Are they spitting, like, fire or cold? It's, uh, freezing. They're doing mm -hmm. cold. They're one of the only enemies that do cold damage in this game. Come on, Kagan. <laughs> Dorn, turn around, my dude. Okay. Nice. Now... The dude here... Who is the boss of this place? Mm -hmm. Now, now, now. Hello there. And who might you be? Another wayward spell slinger looking for a way out? Or just another power-hungry fool trying to force the doors open from the wrong side? Tell me, warrior. Why is it that whatever you seek is always in the last place you look? I've no time for your riddles. I seek a cloak that belongs to Chandelar. Do you now? And he did not come himself for it? Of course not. He left this place only by shedding his most powerful dwomers. Most sensible to send you, who are of lesser power. No doubt he will extricate you using some sort of focus, drawing you away with the magic centered elsewhere. Once you've completed your task, I have guessed your means of travel. Do you even know? You've said more than I need to know. I must deal with you to complete my task. Our conversation is to be a short one, then. Launch your spells and wield your weapons, for one of us will cease breathing this day. It matters little. I see things here that others cannot, and I have an understanding of what comes. Take what you need and finish your task, and be released with the power of another in a different place. He will thank you in this fashion, I am sure. Attack as you will, and one of us will go to join the others. Alright, sir. Okay. Let's open up with a magic missile, actually, and then we'll melt some. So the other guy sent us here knowing that we'd most likely get killed or trapped here? Exactly. And we got a stone skin scroll for Edwin. Nice. I'm just going to save him until he can learn it, because I don't want to waste that scroll. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, the bear! Fuck you, bear. Bear's like, get me out of here. <laughs> and we're back. Yeah. Vandalar, you bitch. You return. You are proven capable, at least in this respect. Certainly you have the will to change your personal ways as well. We are square and fair. For the moment, I can't for the moment. I cannot guarantee that we will remain so, however, as your kind is to be scrutinized closely. Rather a non existent short term memory as well, I'm afraid. You have done me a favor. Now do yourself one. Behave yourself until you are positive in positive standing in the community. Now be gone. I don't like him. Yeah, you don't own me, bruh. You can't stop me, you buster. <laughs> would speak at you, oh my so gosh. Merry Band of Heroes be ye. Have I got an adventure that'll make you yearn for glory? I am Hergen Stoneblade, presently residing in Citadel Ab Adbar. Uh. No desire to speak with you, dwarf. The brashness of youth. You'll grow out of it right quick if you have a brain. What do you have to say? Can we share more about my proposal? Sure. Durlag Trollkiller was a dwarven hero of great renown. Single-handedly slew many a dragon, he did. Me granddad was a good friend of Durlag's. They adventured together until me granddad's untimely death several centuries ago. Go on. Me granddad was slain by an evil demon, but Durlag survived. Durlag kept Soul Taker that had been me granddad's. He was going to send it to me mother, but he was betrayed. A sad tale, that. After Durlag built the tower, his family was replaced by doppelgangers. Durlag killed them all, but was driven mad by the act. He entrapped this tower heavily and forgot about my granddad's dagger. When I heard the story as a youth, I went to retrieve the dagger myself, but was driven back by Durlag's devious traps. If you'd be interested, I wish to hire you to retrieve my granddad's dagger, Soul Taker, my birthright. 
The tower has been penetrated somewhat by previous adventurers. I would think that the edge has been taken off the danger. What say you? I will find it if I am able. Good fortune to you then. I shall await your return here. We're going to do that, but after we do Werewolf Island. Yeah. Okay, everybody, come on. You want some whiskey? Give me something. What do you got? You got anything good? Uh, I'll take all your 35 potions of healing. <laughs> we leave him with nothing. Um, Another wand of the heavens. Oh, Chronos can't. Another wand of the heavens. Another wand of frost. Um. Sure. Get a defensive harmony, why not? Wow, we spent a lot of money here. Uh, Zorn, Kagan. Zorn, Wand of the Heavens to Vicky. I should make Vicky carry some shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can I identify these? Yes. Ooh. Um, Edwin, learn it. Okay, we're gonna quick save. Edwin, learn stone skin. Thank you. Nice. Get rid of that shit. Stone skin, baby. Okay. Now we're just gonna rest here. Okay. Done. Nice. Okay. This just makes me want to play D and D. Yeah, this game just I play this when I can't play D and D. Gives me that fix. I love how they added the the horse flies to the animation of the horse. Yeah, the little flies going around its ass. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this dude's name. Delsfert Canyon. <laughs> Fucking what? dwarf. I'm glad you tried to pronounce it, because I was not even close. I wasn't close either. <laughs> we want to come here. Shire looks upon us with favor. I must Ooh. be speaking to you. Listen, please. Okay, I'll listen. Uh, hello, friends. It is pleasure meeting you. You are heroes for Sword Coast. I, um, long wait to meet you. I am Mendas of Waterdeep, quester of small truth in this land. We, that is, I, am in need of favor from you. I have a money for pay and a big heart for friendship. Can you help a gentle fellow in search for knowledge? You mentioned money? You are very busy, of course. Is 2,000 gold, gold pieces enough? Yes, that will do nicely. Tragic things are happening in this unfair, uh, how you say, world. The men with power, they hurt the men with none. They destroy things that teach us better life. I tell you true, it would be better if these men were not born. This Merchant's League, these bad men, they will find the island to the west. The island that is broken ship, and a uh, shipwreck. Very old shipwreck, they say. Get on with it, man, you're as long-winded as Volo. The Merchant's League sailors see markings on the ship. The shipwreck hero is Balderon's. The, these men, they think that Balderon had much uh, treasure on his final voyage. Maybe this true, but Chip also has many artifacts. These things hold knowledge of Balderon's fate. I wish to recover the ship's logbook. I will solve the mystery of Balderon's final voyage. Merchant's League will destroy my artifacts to get the treasure. This must not happen. If you help me, I get things precious to me. You get treasure, merchant men get nothing. You will hope, yes? Um, I hate how you have to be like, the foiling the plans <laughs> of innocent merchants grates on my conscience. I will help you. Or... Because it, it wouldn't grate on our conscience. No. And, like, you're clearly working to a noble end. I will help you. I guess we'll say it grates on my conscience, but I'll help Yeah. <laughs> I charter a boat forthwith. There is a small problem, though. These men that find the island, they keep the sea charts locked up in Baldur's Gate. There's a building in northeast of city called Merchant's League Counting House. To find it, just go northeast from Elfsong Tavern. The sea charts, they are in there. Most likely, the captain of the ship will have them. I don't know such things as chart retrieval, but you are a hero, and it is no problem for heroes. There might be small danger, so I give you some gold for the charts. I will wait for you here. How much gold are you speaking of? 2,000 gold for the charts. I am on my way. Please hurry, friends. I need charts soon. Merchants prepare ships as we speak. Okay, okay, we'll hurry. Yeah, dude, fuck. <laughs> we just got the quest. 
Yeah, it's like, I'll do it. And he's like, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Dude, it's like a 16-hour walk to Baldur's Gate. It's going to take like oh, two, gosh. two days to get there and back. You can kill this lady, Dushai, for a ring of free action, I believe. Oof. Are we still avoiding that one guy? Yes, we are. Okay, here's the Merchant's League house. Monty, do you have your... Yep, you got it. Potion of Master Thievery. Open this. Go in. Quick save. Because we're going to lie to these away, men. Citizen. Okay. Stand and hold, citizen. What business do you have with the Merchant's League? I'm here to clear my debts with the League. Debts? Of what sort? In spices purchased in Karatur. As you will, but I urge you to conduct your business swiftly, as I have little patience for your tone. <laughs> Alright, fucker. Otherwise, you have to kill all these people. Oh, jeez. Arg, I'd be almost ready for the salts, and who be bothering me now? Um. By the new... Uh... Yeah, hail Captain, I've been sent to inquire if there's anything else you'd be needing before you set sail. Aye, ye be with the League, then. A jug of this town's hardest liquor will make for a fine departure, if you'd be so kind. Old Detranian brews a vile swill that'll do the trick. You can find it at the old coot at the Blushing Mermaid. Or, I can pop this potion of Master Thievery, quick save, and pickpocket this man. Oh my gosh. And we got the charts. Nice. E-Z. <laughs> it just saves a lot of walking. Yeah. Alright guys, let's get the fuck out of here. Nice. And then we're gonna take a ship. And it takes like 30 days. It takes like a month to get there. Jeez. I hope the voice audio is good, because it's gonna be a like dream sequence almost it's gonna be a narration yeah. not dream sequence narration dun, dun, dun. uh 29 charges wow <laughs> edwin you hold on to those okay wonderful my friends i copy charts now if you are ready i hire a boat for your journey Here's the money I owe you. 2,000 gold. I'm ready. Where's your boat? I hired a boat at the docks here in Olgoth's Beard. I will meet you there soon. Okay. And he's right here. There's the little boat we're taking. No, I'm just... We're going to be on that for 30 days? No, I'm just playing. It's a real boat. <laughs> I think that just takes you to the boat. Okay. <laughs> All is ready, friends. I pay for a boat and give copy of sea charts to you. I've bought boat to use. It has food and water for journey. Everything is ready. You go now? Let us leave immediately. Most excellent heroes, may gods grant you speedy journey. I will await your return at my house here in Olgoth's beard. Go well. Cutscene coming up. Right. Your ship sets its sails against the morning light. And you're off across the waves. The Sea of Swords allows your passage without incident. And in a scant amount of time, you're on to truly open waters. A score or more of days pass, but the aptly named trackless sea seems to stretch before you without end. The waters are calm, though the wind remains steady and sure. The merchant vessel your employer has chartered is a fine ship, but her crew is not accustomed to journeys so far off the established trade routes. The more superstitious among them speak of a great waterfall off the edge of Faroon, of a secret elven nation that scuttles all that dare come near, or even of island-sized turtles that eat whole ships. Such fancy weighs heavily on the minds of nervous sailors, and the mood aboard ship slowly turns. Tensions begin to mount, and rumors of mutiny threaten your resolve. It is a mixed blessing that all aboard are soon given a very real danger to occupy their thoughts. The storm comes without warning, 
and hits with a fury that seems almost deliberate. Gale force winds toss the ship about like a cork, and it is all the crew can do to keep her afloat. Their efforts, though valiant, are ultimately futile. And when the main mast splitters, you know the ship is lost. As the hull gives way, there is a glimpse of something in the distance. A steady illumination against the black of night. Grasping debris for flotation, you abandon the wreck and begin to swim under the heavy burden of your equipment. You head towards the glow, hoping it is not a sea wisp or some other nefarious trick of the eyes. You awake the next morning with a mouth full of sand. You are waterlogged, exhausted, and you have an aching pain that lets you know you are very much alive. The ship is so much kindling, there is no sign of the crew, but there do appear to be footprints in the sand. Ominous. Dun dun dun. <laughs> and here's our ship just fucking tossed up here. Um, there's a little girl. We're gonna talk with her, and then we're gonna call it a little bit early this time. Okay. But. Hey, girl, stop fucking walking around. I want to talk to you. You are new. You smell different. Hello, you. You smell funny. You swim in? Yes, I did swim in. Our ship sank and we're in need of shelter. Okay, I believe you. Not see many that swim in. Many float, but don't wake up. Fishies are mean and cliffs hurt ship homes. You lucky. Still smell funny, though. Maybe you stay and belong? Maybe I will stay and take over. This place looks pretty deserted and primitive. <laughs> Ew, you act mean. The village won't like you if you act this way. They will not trust you anyway because you don't belong. Be nicer, okay? Um. I will act as I choose to act. <laughs> if you don't like it, then move along. Nah, I'll speak with you later. I need time to collect my thoughts. Maybe I help you look? No, you were speaking funny like Mame sometimes does. Okay, I wait a moment. You better now? I have to go soon. And go, I have no further need of you. Fine, I will. A bitch. <laughs> She'll, she's just walking across water like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> she is Jesus. How did she do that? Can we do that? <laughs> we can do that. We're all Jesus. Oh my gosh. That's fucking funny. I guess it's just <laughs> shallow water. Yeah. It's a so, pond. Let's get into the village Sharon and save. Us with favor. Before we, uh save i forget which way is it there are a bunch of quests you can do here but we're just gonna do the main one and leave okay because i don't got time to help these people <laughs> spoiler alert they're werewolves yeah wolf wares sorry this is where ah strangers how would it be possible you must speak with kaishas yeah okay. and i'm planning to next time <laughs> um, so yeah, next time we'll talk with Kai Shas Gan, figure out what these wolf warriors want, and then we'll uh, commence to killing or getting killed. Oh gosh. <laughs> so until then, Chanel, say goodbye. Bye. And we will see you guys later.